Hello my friends of Hatari Labs, my name is Saul Montoya, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be about extracting geological feature and orientation representation in QGIS with GeoTrace, okay, plugin. Uh, what is this about? Okay, so this is about um, how can we get or can we define fractures with the use of the GeoTrace plugin that actually implements the Geotrace plugin actually implement uh, the what's called the Scikit uh, library um, or one tool of the Scikit library. Okay, so I have here an image. So which one is this one? Will it be? Yeah, here I have an image. Okay, this is an image that actually is a uh, the the image is actually in. Okay, so if I put it here with the OpenStreetMap, map, this is from the Page County in Arizona. Okay, so here is it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's close to the Page County in Arizona, so. And it's actually from the okay. Here is the page county somewhere close. This here is the page county. Okay, so here we have this is our image. Yeah, the image is in WGS. Oh, sorry, it's on WGS. Okay, 84. Okay, so we want, if you see, there is an outcrop here, so there is limited uh, land cover, and we can see some folds here, and then we, what we want is to interpret these folds by the use of some tools, okay? Um, okay, so what can we do here? What can we do is to use the GeoTrace plugin. Okay, on the description of this video, there is a description about how to implement, how to set up the GeoTrace plugin in Windows because uh, it's kind of tricky. Yeah, in Linux or in Mac, it should be easier. Okay, so here we have the the map, and then here on plugins we have the SCP plugin, and then we have the SCP. No, sorry, the GeoTrace plugin, GeoTrace. Okay, great. So first of all, I will get rid of this and this as well. We wa we need um first of all we need a line po a line layer. Okay, so here I say fractures. Th it could be temporal, so don't worry about this line. Mm, nothing else. It can be on geographical. Don't worry. Okay, so here we have. Okay, look, this is based on satellite imagery. Okay, so if you see here, like the algorithm doesn't actually, it doesn't actually interpret this because if you see, it is not con the the trace is not continuous. That's why we have to use some of the tools that come with the GeoTrace plugin that is a cost calculator yeah and look like I will do the solar for example I do run and it doesn't work because actually what you're seeing is the true color but for the GeoTrace we have to work with just one band okay so in order to to get just one band of this like say we go to here raster raster calculator and then I just want the RGB and alpha I want the red okay and then I want to store this as Arizona page 2 band 1 okay yes yeah I have it already but I will replace it okay so okay great so now I have just the one band number one or the like the red Okay, so here I have Arizona page band one and then I do a solver and then I run it. It doesn't work because 
not only the transform not all the transformation apply for every band okay so let's see darkness one no. mm -hmm. let's see which one let me let me remind myself which one is working here Okay. Uh let's see let's let's play with ah okay, this one. La like the sole vertical transform okay so i do not need this and i do not need this what is this those are transformation of this so it's another form of seeing this okay with this it should work okay so let's go to trace let's say that fractures it will be our fractures and arizona this one will be our cost layer okay nothing else and then start digitizing and look how pretty it works okay so if I click here actually it will trace this as long as is possible okay cool let's make a click here okay and I come here cool it's already do you see that it follows the line okay I can go oh sorry okay okay sorry sorry my I get a little bit nervous okay once I, I will delete mine yes okay great okay so I come from here goes here and right click okay and then comes from here goes here and right click and then come from here and right click and and then you can this is an assisted way to interpret fractures and actually you can come here to here and uh -huh. because what this is doing is f is following the line it follows the line of that it because it's interpreted for example here and here okay cool it's working very well mm -hmm. so on here you only do need uh, let's see if it works okay great okay and if you're not sure that this is those are the fractures what you have to do I could put I can make some another symbology like the blue okay and then if you if you can see okay here it corresponds to this to this to this to this and if you start to to think about the time that you have developed to this task you can see that there is an amount there is an incredible amount of uh, there is incredible amount of safe of time if you do this way okay we can follow we can start following and maybe we can do the for, for example actually it's related to this but for example I can use the complete the full color to keep tracing my faults okay great for example here to here let's see okay great look okay for example from here to here and from here to here and from here to here and from here to here from here to here okay and then you can keep doing this as much as you can okay but let's see that you want to do to run some statistics on the faults that you have done because like you want to
to do an interpretation of the how are the prefer preferential <sighs> directions okay or strikes okay so it's possible yes it's possible what do we do is that we have to use the field calculator okay right click field calculator because actually it has two options the rows and the stereo net but you need some other whether you need the deep direction deep strike or the no deep direction the deep deep direction or a strike uh, for the rows so you need the deep direction or a strike and for a stereo net you need the deep direction and the deep okay so here we have we are going to do here okay here we are going to do a new field that will go strike it will be a floating number yeah and then we have to we have here that we are going to use geometry azimuth yeah and then we will start to um start we will go from the start point dot geometry yeah to the end point Mm -hmm. divided by p because uh, it returns in radians and then we want in degrees and multiply it by one time okay that's great so we do this okay and then we have the strike okay with the strike we go to rows and we say deep direction and we say that this is a strike and then I see plot okay and that's it cool here you can see this preferential strikes of the folds or the fold preferential strikes okay great so as you have seen it's possible to use this this is this is with new algorithms that comes in the scikit image okay these new algorithms are um, we are devoted to develop more tutorials um, because we strongly believe that the scikit image will provide uh, new tools especially for assessing more things as long as the drones will come with high resolution image we need more tools that can help us to determine um, uh, corners shapes objects and so on okay great so i hope that you have find this tutorial interesting what we are, we are Hatari Labs, and Hatari Labs is a blog devoted to the open source uh, software um, in GIS and in numerical resources. We have a Facebook account, a Twitter account, and we have a newsletter, and then you we have online courses as well that you can sign up. Um, and please follow us by our social networks, and if you like this video, give it a like. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, have a great day. My name is Olmontoya, and see you in coming tutorials. Bye bye. Bye.